Welcome to TechSit Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to discuss HTML attributes. HTML attributes are a very important part of HTML and we're going to learn it today. Uh, so first the question is what is an attribute? What is an attribute in general? Uh, so let's first look at an example before we define H attributes in HTML. We're going to look at a, a general example of attribute. Uh, so we're going to start with this funny picture um, that I created. Um, so uh, we can have a few things defined about the picture. So there is a there is a man in the picture. Um, he has a name and is crying. So there are a lot of other things to no to be noticed here, but. Uh, um, we're just gonna pick three things. You know, these are the attributes of this picture. Now, HTML, um, you have to define it a little bit differently. Um, in HTML, attributes are defined in key and value pair. So you have a key, and there's an equal sign, and then you have a value with double quotes. So for example, let's look at this paragraph tag. So in this paragraph element, you have an attribute in the opening tag uh, called is paragraph equal to yes. Is paragraph is a key and yes is the value. This is how you write it. So let's look at the the same example that we discussed earlier and this time we're gonna write the attributes in HTML way using key value pair so instead of just saying there's a man in the picture we're gonna say sex equal to men we're gonna say has a name equal to yes means yes he has a name and is crying equal to yes so it has this picture has three attributes um, so there's a few important rules about attributes that you always use lowercase for attributes. Um, and attribute always go in the opening tag, never in the closing tag. But the big question is, why do we need attributes in HTML? So let's understand that first. One of the reasons is so we can differentiate tags. Um, let's look at an example. Let's say you have in a paragraph in an HTML document and you can have another paragraph, a third paragraph, and a fourth paragraph. Now, um, we're going to change the color of one of the paragraphs using JavaScript. So this guy is Mr. JavaScript. And he wants to call one of these tags. Let's say it's a fourth tag from in the, at the bottom. And he wants to call this tag and change its color to red. Uh, we're gonna learn how to do that later on in later chapters uh, when we introduce JavaScript. But let's assume JavaScript knows how to change the tag. But in order to do that, he has to identify um, the tags. So um, right now it's just pointing to a tag, particular tags, and say, hey, you tag. And the first tag says, no, not me. Second one, not me. The third one, not me. It is very difficult to do this without giving some sort of identification. So let's introduce a solution to that. We're going to give each element an attribute called ID. So here it is. We're going to rewrite the entire thing with attribute ID in each tag. So the first element we have ID equal to 1, second element we have ID equal to 2, third one ID equal to 3, and fourth one ID equal to 4. Now, here's Mr. JavaScript again, and 
instead of just saying that hey you tag this time it's saying hey you tag with ID equal to 4 now example of why we should use attributes uh, later in the tutorials uh, but we know why the attributes are needed ID is one of the very important attributes in HTML it's one of the predefined attributes what is a predefined attribute means ID has a fixed meaning in HTML and that meaning is each ID has to have a unique value in a, within an HTML document. So let's look at the example. So let's say you have four paragraph, uh, just like this. Um, and you have ID one, two, three, four. Now you wanna add a fifth paragraph with the same ID as the last one. You cannot do this in HTML because it will allow it, it won't break the code. However, when you when you when you use JavaScript to call this tag to do something, it will get confused. Um, if you do want to call both tags together, there is a way to do this. But ID has to be unique. And that's the fixed meaning in HTML. So you cannot reuse the same ID. Now there are some other predefined attributes like uh, class style and href, the href um, used for uh, hyperlinks. And there are many more, but these are the most used ones. So um, Now, besides using the predefined attributes, sometimes you want to create your own attributes. We're not, we're not going to look at the reasons why you want to create your own attributes because later on when we start doing, learning you know, CSS or JavaScript, we will understand it more in detail. But here I'm going to explain you how to create your own attribute. So you can pretty much create your own attribute any way you like. So let's look at this example there's a paragraph and you want to create your own attribute called my crazy attribute and the the value is I have lost my mind so that's your crazy attribute let's do some coding we're gonna go to this website um, jsfiddle.net uh, this is called code playground means uh, you can write some code here and then see the result right here uh, so for example if you write some in HTML it goes here um, you can write your CSS your your styles here and then you can write your JavaScript if you don't know what the CSS and JavaScript don't worry don't worry about it um, we'll learn it later and uh, uh, this is where you see your result so um, what you can what we can do here is uh, we're gonna write some uh, paragraphs here and give it an ID. Say ID equal to one, and I'm just gonna put the the content here. I'm gonna just call it P1. And I'm gonna close it. Now I'm just gonna copy. The, you just have to write it again. I'm a bit lazy that way. And I'm going to change its ID so it gets a unique ID. So now, as you can see, you have four paragraphs. Okay, so I need to change this as well to three and four. Now, in HTML here, usually we write, you know, the HTML tag, there's a body, and within the body, you put your content. But in this case, uh, in this code playground, you don't have to do that. Anything that you put in here in this box goes 
inside a body because you don't have to write the whole because you the, the purpose is to do some testing and when you do some testing you don't want to write the entire HTML document you just want to write the piece that you're testing so let's click here and do run and as you can see I am seeing the four paragraphs here on this side uh, now remember I showed you um, in the early example that let's say you using JavaScript I want to change uh, the color of one of the paragraph so we're just gonna go ahead and, and write some JavaScript a one-line JavaScript um, I know we haven't introduced JavaScript but I'm just gonna do it here I mean it's very much self-explanatory here um, so uh, just bear with me here document dot So this particular function get element by ID, we can get the ID and which would be if I say four, that would be this particular element um, dot style dot color equal to red. And we put a semicolon. So it's it's very simple here. Document is your HTML document. Within the document, you can use this dot. Say okay, but this is a document. Get me element by ID four, and whatever that ID is, dot style, dot color equal to red. Okay, so what I'm saying is change the color of the. Uh, element with ID equal to four to red. I'm gonna I'm gonna run this here. And I'm gonna run this here. Uh, so as you can see the fourth element is P4 is red. That's it. So that's a demonstration of um, how the attribute ID works. Next tutorial we're gonna learn about a special attribute style and this would be like a gateway into CSS so we might give you a brief introduction to CSS as well. As well. So uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel so that uh, you can enjoy the future videos um, and also comment if you have any question or if you want um, a specific topic. Thank you.